Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Observer and I have one thing to do which I want to do and that is the exit. I, as I said in the last episode, I looked around a little, tiny little bit, not too too much, alright. I wanna on the one hand take a look at the um, room number 28, so let's do that. And I thought the key to the exit, or not the key, the keypad, that we can actually try to brute force our way out of there because... Right, that's weird. Because we have only one number to guess and we can give in one to we can so we have only nine possibilities to get through there that's the reason why i wanted to try just you know put us our way through it that should actually work out quickly enough i hope well let's first of all find t28 as i said before there could be something at hand here we started actually 16, 17, 18, 19. And I hate that sound. 20, 21, 22, 20. Wasn't there something we could do in 28? I honestly can't completely comprehend and remember that right now. Well, then I thought we had the 28 here, didn't we? Well, anyhow, then let's go basically to the exit and, well, try to put us the way out. So... Oh God, I hate that noise. That is a little bit scary. Okay, 20... Ah, okay, 28 was... this one and what I don't understand I thought we killed it subhuman life form endangered species proceed with caution okay if I reboot the sedation program should resume or I could unplug it, put it out of its misery. I unplug. That is something I do not quite understand. Even if I reboot that, we unplugged it. So it actually should not receive anything more. Could somebody explain that to me? It should be dead. That's why the case is not... That is probably a thing why the case is not solved. But anyhow, that we did in the last episode. For me, the case is solved right now. So let's try to find the exit. We need to find the room with the little boxes here we are and here we have the keypad if we try to hack it again we find three numbers and the last one we just are going to guess right now let's start with the one which is wrong 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 Yay! that was easy enough so let's see what we are going to find right here, okay, that I guess was a little clue where we have to go. Ah, now I where we are, where we am, where we are, where we am, that we saw from the behind. So we could go on here, but we will take a quick look into that room here at first. Okay, we can get up here as well. There's a woman crying. 
So can we open that up? That up? And he would... Oh, what the... The door cannot be opened. Because it didn't have a door handle. And it goes on. Oh, come on. What do we have to do? going on what's this about why you of course it's always about you isn't it don't fuck with me that's not why I'm here it's time to move on um that's now a little bit weird don't make me get the enchanted membra membrane I smell like death wallets on a corpse. Ugly fairs don't make dreams come true. The floor is one track and above. You're right, I go with the I'm last one. I'm feeling obnoxious. What is it, dear? The macabre. Yes. I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say can and will be used against me in court of law. Uh-huh. I have the right to an attorney. Do I understand my rights? Fuck yeah. Let's skip this part, okay? Um, so are we trucked? <laughs> I just picked the middle one here. Is this an interrogation? Is that so hard to imagine? Talking to the wrong guy. Are you sure? Take a hike. Will not. Will do. Will not. Game over. I got your number. I'll be back. Our paths will not cross again, Dan. Try not to think about her. It won't bring you peace. This intercom is offline. Please contact the building manager. There was a really weird conversation. Still need to find the owner there. Um, let us quick. Oh crap, it looks completely different now. Yes, here we are in the cellar again. But I would like to know quickly. I guess it doesn't look any different right here. The thing is still alive, all right. But when we entered, when we got up the the stairs we actually I, I turned around and I didn't go go through one door let's take a look better to the left the one no that's still close what was here that is a still okay that's another way up you fucking kidding me who's doing this Very good question. Alright, here we are back in the doorway. So let's go back. Um, not to talk with the janitor, but maybe in his computer we can actually 
find out who is living in 28. Did we already get the name of the organ dealer there? I am not sure. So back we are. Did he ground floor? Basement 28, apartment 2 of, okay, it's apartment 205, there we are going to take a look, 205, Oscar Madurski, alright, if I take a look again, we could still in those both apartments we have actually have been have we been in 205 what we will now finally do in this episode as well we go on the second floor and take a look in 205 maybe we have a clue with the organ dealer right now so let's take a look first floor coming up and off to the second Maybe we find a clue and we want to go to 202210. What the? New eyes. And you, you, oh my god. So, 2010. Okay, we can't do anything there, I guess. Here's the kitchen. The question is, where's 205 man? On the other side, what are okay, we came into there. So let's then just go through that door and maybe we get to 20. Have we already been in 205? Here we found the other rows a couple of episodes ago. 28. Open that door. To 12 to 213 to 10 to 211 to 8 to 9 what's in here probably these stairs are go through here I'm a little bit not scared <coughs> oh good lord that's what I meant I'm I knew something there, so here we are. Want to go? Let's get in here. Oh my god, this bloody bird there. To be honest, that scared me a little bit. When standing, cleaning products. Are, when standard cleaning products are no longer enough, when you crave absolute cleanliness and freshness, all purpose, body and home appliance varnish. Okay. So shouldn't we go after the blood, actually? Obviously not. Okay, anything in here? No. A little kitchen with organs. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I hope he is not eating anything of this good jazz here. So another picture of Pavel Nizabitovsky. I guess I did pronounce it right. Anyhow, another picture there for us. So what's in here? Alright, that is the skin of one of the animals down there, I guess. Of the subhuman. Human skin, oh my god. What a weirdo. Let's then open and these are organs as well. Let's take a look. Human heart, oh man. And what's that is 
a liver. Yeah. What do we have in here? Can we actually? Can we think about it? In the kitchen, can we skin them? There? Of course not. Why should we? Oh, a dancer? Was what? What? What is that for? I don't know. Then let us take a look into the com. Oh my god! Biomass. All right. I guess that's biomass as well. Bloody hell! So then, for the end of this episode, we are going to take a quick look into his computer. Well, that is something we may do in the next episode. Yes, we do that in the next episode. Guys, for now, I really thank you for watching. Sorry that I interrupt the episode right now, but we are already at 60 minutes, and I thought that is a good point to actually stop and do the rest in the next episode. For now, guys, I... Really, thank you for watching. That's the usual book here, and as usual, I um, I'm again I, because I looked at the book. I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please, guys, you beautiful people, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.